Hi friends, welcome back to Queen Variety's channel. In today's episode, I will show you how to make a perfect Nigerian cake recipe without oven, mixer or any machine at all. This cake is very easy, simple and extremely very delicious. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload any videos. Feel free to share this video with your friends, loved ones or anybody you want to share it with. Thank you. The ingredients that will be used for this cake preparation is very easy to afford. Therefore, it's an inexpensive um, cake recipe. Okay, with that said, on my work surface, I have the basic ingredients required for In this plate, I have about 6 fresh eggs. 8 grams of vanilla sugar. This is optional. If you have it, then it will also be very nice. It's going to infuse a very beautiful flavor and aroma. 1 cup of sugar, 1 cup of milk, half teaspoon vanilla flavor. And here I have some melted butter. Not melted in the watery way, but in a creamy way. So I use microwave to just um, beat up the butter a little bit, okay? Just for 30 seconds. In here I have half teaspoon of nutmeg, 1 and half teaspoon of baking powder. And we are using 2 and half cups of um, all purpose flour. You can also use the cake flour, but because I want the cake to have a little bit of weight, we'll be using the all purpose flour. This video is requested by a subscriber. I'll be leaving her name on the screen right now. You can see it popping. Okay, so now we are going to combine all the ingredients together. As you can see, I've already gone ahead to sift the flour. Step is very, very important, especially when you're making cakes or any pastry. So with that step completed, we are basically going to combine all the dry ingredients. So go ahead and then sift all the ingredients. Just in case you're wondering, this is the cup measurement I used. You can find all the items used in this recipe in the description section. Please check it out. Buy all the dry ingredients and then set them aside, making sure that everything is evenly distributed. All right, the dry ingredients are ready, so I'll just set it aside and introduce them a new bowl. Pour in the melted butter right now. We'll now go ahead and pour in the sugar because we are going to cream the butter and the sugar together so with the help of my wigs i will begin to beat this mixture just make sure you apply pressure in this step of preparation so that um, your cake will come out you know very fluffy and moist and so beating this step will take about five minutes by hand so i will take you off the camera and then complete the process and come back to you for a good five minutes All right, my people, can you see the gorgeous appearance that we are having here? You notice that this mixture has completely doubled in size after five minutes. The secret is to make sure that your butter is very soft and then you do this. So now we have that um, gorgeous appearance. We are going over to the next step. next step we are going to incorporate the eggs initially i showed you about um, six eggs so now we are going to start um, cracking in the eggs here one step at a time you know this step is very very important because we want the outcome of this cake to be so so tasty you know you're making it for a birthday party so you want your guests to enjoy it okay so when i crack one of the eggs i'll then cream it so be very careful in this cracking method so that you don't put in any eggs inside it so you see i've cracked it in and then I'll gradually drop it in there. That's so, so beautiful. <laughs> so now we're going to cream it together. So mix until you can no longer see the eggs and then you add another one. We have six eggs here. That is what we will continue doing until all the six eggs are incorporated. eggs are perfectly incorporated at this point in time i will now introduce them um, the vanilla flavor 
So this is the point in time we now have to also introduce them um, the dry ingredients. I'll pass it across my sieve once again because I don't want all the flour to cluster one place. So I begin to add the flour at the same time I'll be adding the milk until I get that perfect um, consistency. And once you notice you have completely mixed in your flour, please stop mixing, okay? So I don't result with a dry cake. Dough is getting a little bit tough you now begin to introduce them um, some milk here i'm having one cup of milk so we'll add the milk step by step until we get that perfect um, consistency Just to make sure you have that um, gorgeous outcome from your cake, this is the style you have to use to fold in your batter. So when you fold, you cut. If you want to incorporate some dry fruits, you can add some dry fruits now. Or you can soak the dry fruits as early as um, 3 weeks before preparation period. At this point in time, I will introduce my pans. So you notice we did not use all the quantity of milk I brought out. I used about a um, half cup of milk. So I will set out um, this milk and cake. On my work surface now I'm placing all the cake pans. These are my cake pans guys. So in case you love these pans, I'll be leaving the links of all the items used in this video in the description section. Follow those links and get yourself all these um, beautiful gorgeous um, cake pans. Okay guys, since we are making a non-oven cake, I have placed a pot on the heat to begin to preheat on medium heat. My cooker settings is between 0 to number 9, so I have set my heat to number 5, okay? That is my medium heat. We are going to preheat this pot for like um, 10 good minutes. I'm using my cooker to do this um, baking process. You can use your stove, you can use your gas cooker, whatsoever thing that you have, you can use it. All you have to do is select the medium setting so that we will preheat uh, this pot, okay? As you can see, I'm using some salt. You can also use some sand as a substitute. If you don't want to use the sand or salt, you can feel free to use the pot like this without okay. adding anything to it and preheat it for 10 good minutes or 5 to 10 minutes. Pour in the salt at the base of um, the pot. Please be very, very careful. Remember what we are using here is salt. You don't want the salt to penetrate into your cake and then spoil it entirely. Either you want sand at the same time to enter here. Yeah, the salt, I'm going to add this type of iron inside here. The cake is going to sit on top. Prevent the cake to sit at the base here. It's going to sit on top of this. Heat this yeah. pot for 10 good minutes on medium heat. Brush the cake pan with some little oil. You can use um, some melted butter if you have it. Some little oil so that the cake will not um, stick on the pan. I'll just scoop in a little quantity of flour inside here. We are going to coat it with some flour. I have secured the base of my pan so everything is perfectly ready now. So this is a perfect Nigerian cake outcome. I don't want the outcome of your batter to be like um, Eba, Gary. <laughs> we are not eating Gary, Bikonu. Eh? The consistency of the batter that we have. It's not too thick and it's not too light. Please make sure your cake batter does not occupy the whole space in the cake pan. You have to leave enough space so that the cake can rise during the baking process. Please tap the cake pan so that all the bubbles or whatever air can just uh, release. 
now we are transferring this to the preheated pot remember you can also bake this in the oven this cake can be baked in the oven what to do is to set your oven at 150 degrees celsius and bake this cake for like 40 to 50 minutes or till one hour until a skewer wire inserted into the cake comes out as clean as possible okay guys the pot is perfectly preheated now we are going to introduce the cake inside the pot and i've gone ahead to now reduce my heat from number five to number three because we are about to begin the baking process we are going to cover this pot and once this pot is covered please don't open it at least until the first 30 good minutes or 40 minutes it means we are using a very low heat to bake the cake because we don't want the heat to be high otherwise the cake will not cook very well 30 minutes later friends we are here to check the outcome so that the cake also is coming to the surface of um, the bowl so i will still cover it up and then continue to bake for extra 15 minutes 15 minutes time we will come to see the outcome okay guys you are all welcome back at this point in time we want to check um, the outcome of the cake i have been baking for extra 30 good minutes on a low heat so i want to show you the outcome of the cake guys the kitchen smells incredibly amazing i mean Can you see how incredibly amazing this cake is? Look, you can notice the crack at the side of um, the cake. That means um, it is um, ready. Okay, be very, very sure that this cake is ready. For the very first time, I'm going to use my skewer and then pierce in here to make sure that um, it's completely cooked all around. Don't worry about these bubbles that you're seeing right here. That is because, you know, we did um, a cooking, baking type of process. <laughs> yes, guys. You see, the skewer came out um, so super clean. That means um, it's ready. So now we are going to bring out um, the cake and then present it on the wet surface here. Okay guys, so you are going to leave the cake on the wet surface here and allow the cake to get completely cooled down. Alright my beautiful people, we have finally finally come to the end of today's recipe. I hope you have been encouraged to go out there and try it because it's as simple as ABC to put together. I hope I have also been able to motivate you to try this. For those of you who also want to start your own businesses, I hope you will find this video super helpful. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode. I really appreciate your presence. Thank you for spending time with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload any video. Please check out the links I have dropped in my description section. Also feel free to share this video guys. Share it so that many more people will come to this platform. Until I come your way next time, bye bye.